In Creo Simulate, you can create shell idealizations in order to reduce the element count of your models. Let's go to the Applications tab and then click on the Simulate command. In order to create shells, you will go to the Refine Models tab. Here is the Shell command, and you can change the name of the shell. You can create simple or advanced shells. Advanced shells are typically used for composite materials. If I click on advanced, you can see that we can define a shell property and also a material orientation. I will show this in another video. Let's change the type back to simple, and then we're going to select our surface references. Here I'll select this particular surface, hold down the control key and select another surface, and then control for a couple more surfaces. You will notice that we have some pink arrows in the graphics area. That represents the normal direction of the shells that will be created. I'm happy with this. Oh wait, let's change the thickness. We have a drop down list if you want to specify the value in a different set of units. Let me go to inches. I'm going to specify a thickness of 0.25. And then for our material, let's click on the more button. I'll go to my legacy materials and I will select my aluminum, add it to the model and then select it, and everything is filled out. Let's click the OK button. And so there you can see how the shells are represented with the appropriate thickness in the graphics area. Let me create a, another set of shells in order to demonstrate something to you. And I'm going to go to my layer tree and just hide one of my layers here just so I can see the rest of the model. You can still see the shells in the graphics area. Let me close out of my layer tree. We can go to our simulation display. And in this particular situation, in order to reduce the clutter, let's go to our modeling entities. And I'm going to turn off shells for a moment. Click the OK button. That way it just makes it easier for me to select my surfaces for my next set of shells. I will click on the shell command. And then for the references, I want to show you that you can even do a drag select in order to grab everything. And taking a look, I see that some of my normals are pointing in a direction I don't want. So I can just click on them in order to get it right. Okay, once again, we can change the units that we are defining our model in, and then let's specify our thickness that we're going to use over here, and then use the More button in order to grab the material that we want, and then click the OK button. And so there I have my shells created. Let's go back to our simulation display command in order to return the display of the shells. And I can go to my layers to turn on that layer display. Let me right click on it and choose show and then close my layers once more. And now let's take a look at meshing this. So if I go to the auto gem command, here we can click on the create button. And you can see that in this particular situation, we ended up with a total of 176 elements created in the model. Now I want to make a few different changes. First, let's close out of the AutoGem dialog boxes. I'm not going to save the mesh. If you go to the AutoGem drop-down command, here we can go to Settings, and then there is a Limits tab. And the values that are configured in here are optimized for solid elements, not shell elements. And so, a couple better values to use. For the edge maximum allowable angle, 165 is recommended for shells. Same with the face max allowable angle. Let me change that to 165 as well. For the minimum values, it's recommended to change them to 15 degrees. So let me type that in and then 15 for the face minimum. And for the Maximum aspect ratio, let's use a value of 5 instead. And the maximum edge turn is recommended to be a max of 85 degrees. So that is good. Let's click on the OK button and get a warning in here. Yeah, we know that changing the values can have some different effects. Also, another thing, I thought my mesh was a little too crude. I want it to be a 
a little tighter. I want to create more elements. So if you go to the control drop down menu, you have a number of different settings that you can make. I'm going to set the maximum element size. In this case here, let's change to inches. I'm going to set the maximum element size to two inches and then click the OK button. Oops, no geometrical references are selected. Let's make sure that we select our geometry and then click the OK button. You can see that we have the auto gem controls. Once again, you can go to your simulation display settings. And if you go to the settings tab, you can turn off the display of the auto gem controls in order to reduce the clutter on the computer screen. And now that we have changed our various different settings, let's go to the auto gem button and then click the create button. And let's move the summary dialog box off to the side. So you see that in this particular situation, now we're getting almost 3,300 elements in the model. So that is how you can create shell elements manually in order to reduce your element count.